Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Malik Dory, and this is video from last night's open kale raid hosted by AC Gamer and the gang. Which I'm 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 one of those people. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, I got the um, the honor of being one of uh, the main tanks during during the raid, which was kind of enjoyable. Honestly, I I want to be straight. Normally during these raids, I get very very tired very very easily. I actually get very bored, and that's mainly because of the fact that I'm usually playing my cleric and, and all that. Sometimes I bring out my rogue. It's great and everything, but the thing I really enjoyed about playing my Shadow Knight in, in this specific raid is that we didn't have a lot of warriors. We had two warriors in total actually show up. One of them was T-Clap, and they took a break uh, for maybe one or two hours, I believe, and the raid, I think, uh, was around eight to ten hours uh, the tanks, though, were myself, .gov, Shadow Knight, Urath, uh, Paladin, um, Yurunk, and uh, another Shadow Knight. And we were all around the same level, 54 plus. So um, I ended up taking up the job of helping tag out mobs like uh, Semkak and Gakreen. And, and all of those. Uh, so it was it was enjoyable for me, mainly because of the fact I was actually participating in the raid as more than just a healer. And this is one of the reasons that I, I've been playing Malik Dory more, is because uh, there was a time where I got a chance to pull, um, pull a mob out, which was... Uh, Vindy. I, I, I got to pull Vindy to a raid once, and I was like, hooked. So I got to I got to take part in not only that, but I ended up being for the majority of the raid the main tank with the off tank being Doc of Yurunk Runuk. It's R U N U K, um, and I believe Urath as well. And then whenever we had uh, T-Clap with us, they would be the main tank. I would be the puller, or I, I can't say I was the puller, because I was only one of many of the pullers. I was just the tagger, I, I, because spells have that power to rip a mob out of a group of mobs. It just made it a whole lot easier. So I would just rip the mob and as soon as I saw that T-Clap uh, had aggro on the mob, I would feign it, and then I would go back to helping with the pull team. So it, it ended up being a really fun and interesting night for me. What wasn't fun is finding out a lot of things. A lot of things about the, my class, and a lot of things about the way you need to work with people who have never done these kind of raids or people who usually do them with their guild and forget just cer certain little things. I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, if you don't call push, <laughs> people just do not stack on each other or they don't stack at all. And one of the things I would do uh, whenever I was tanking a mob like an adjunct or a Gakreen or a Simcac is I would stand where the mob is sideways and they would push them straight. We would try to do a, like turn them in circles, but that wasn't happening. It's it's hard to really convey and and um, have a raid do that when it is a, a pug kind of like this is. So um, I would just pull them. I'd, I'd keep their attention on my direction, and they would push them. Uh, in in another direction and it just made for a perfect push we had a really powerful dps uh section going on tonight you know music you have you have the the bass you have the the violins and all that they we just had a amazing dps section in in that in that band and everyone else is playing 
the music on on their behalf <laughs> as they they are being played in glory doing doing what they do. So that's one thing I learned is that whenever you're in raids and you're the main tank, you need to tell people that this is what you need to do because for some reason it just doesn't happen outside of your your normal guild situation. The other thing I learned is that being a Shadow Knight who only has uh, 3k, um, well, it's more than 3k, maybe 3200 hit points fully buffed, that that is not enough. <laughs> and my AC, no matter what it is, because if you, if you know about Shadow Knights on the server, they are not correct. The AC is not computing uh, correctly. And that's going to be fixed in the Chardock 2.0 Whenever that happens, if ever that happens, we will be fixed and brought back to the forefront as being able to handle that kind of damage incoming. We were taking on the likes of Protectors of Zek, um, Gukreen, and Simkak, and Veterans, and all of the like, who do Enrage, and here, here is my little... I wouldn't call it a horror story, <laughs> but it was really panicking me most of the time because here I am. I am the main tank. I am a Shadow Knight. I have these tools available to me to just tell the mob, look at me, look at me, the whole time. I'm like spamming my disease cloud. I'm spamming my Shadow Vortex. And for some reason, at 10%, every time, they would break my aggro and turn straight around at the the freaking raid who's pushing them in full force with attack on and he's enraging <laughs> it just did not make any sense to me why at specifically 10 percent he would say you know what i'm done with you. <laughs> you you've done all your spells that you can do it doesn't matter to me i'm gonna go and look at these guys because they're the ones who are making me die fast so even though we only had one one uh, one death to an enrage, it, it was still more. It was it was it was more than that to me. It was me failing at the job that I was doing. And here is the only way I could have fixed that in my mind. As after not only looking over the video and looking over the the tactics that I I was doing is that. The only thing that could have helped me hold aggro better is if I top slotted uh, Disease Cloud and also had um, my Sword of Pain hot keyed on a left and right turn so that I could spam that stupid button the whole time we're fighting. Because I wasn't doing that. I was I was letting the spell naturally come back up. I, and you can see in my spell list whenever I have my UI up that that it is set to my number three button i i keep spamming that number three and then hit the number two so i can do taunt disarm and slam at the same time so i'm always doing something to try to get that mob on me the whole fight and i just could not do it so the only way that i can see doing it is that because the only um refresh item i have is my sword of pain is that I could have had the Sword of Pain uh, doing that while I had Disease Cloud on number one, or Shadow Vortex. Shadow Vortex, I think, pulls even more hate, um, and it's uh, better for uh, if you're trying to... Uh, well, I, I, I did my job. If I knew if something was going to be charmed or mezzed, I would use Shadow Vortex for that specific mob, and then move on to the next one with, with whatever we were doing, but... Yeah, so I learned that. I learned I learned that um, I I need to find ways to hold aggro more, even if it includes keeping a hammer on me. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of the hammers. the The stupid hammer that comes from in a thull swamp, the hammer of whatever. Anyway, I need to keep one of those on me, I guess so that I can get that last hit of aggro right as it hits 10%. Um, other things that I learned uh, are that my health uh, was 
uh, oh well that's that's not another thing the other thing i learned was this is that if i'm helping strip a mob from from the pull that once i get it over to the raid if i have another tank available i need to tell them to to grab aggro real quick because one of the things that we had an issue with is that we we pulled Gakreen clean. Gakreen and the two and the two um and, and the two priests pulled out nice and clean. I ripped Gakreen as soon as he came out the door, got him over to the raid, and for some reason they got aggro on me. And the whole thing is that as long as I don't do damage to Gakreen and I pull aggro to me, there should be no reason that the priest should come back at me. And they did. And one of those times we had a wipe. So that is that's like the really big thing that I learned is that if Gakreen is pulled, if I pull Gakreen or Simcac out of a group of three, that I need to get someone else to tag it off of me so that I can, um, wait for them to path back and and uh and then stand back up and help the rain if the mob is even still alive so i i learned a lot during the raid and i had a ton of fun um i the only things i really uh got were a diamond and um gauntlets of t iron tactics i think was the other thing which I only got that for a friend of mine so that they could put it on their clerk. So the clerk is um, fully kitted in Tismac armor and they, re they really need some, some actual items. Uh, but that, that said, they also won a ton of items when we did Playhouse the other day. So um, I think they didn't win the gloves. And even if they didn't win the gloves, I think at least... One of my characters has an extra pair, so either way, they'll get gloves. But yeah, so I didn't really even look at loot most of the night. I saw what was rolled on. I wrote down notes because I was the person who was keeping track of who got uh, primary uh, pieces, meaning uh, breastplate or pants, so that um, if we... The whole rules... For those of you who want to come out to these, because we do these a lot, every Saturday uh, we have a stream that's going on uh, through AC's channel. And um, AC Gamer, by the way, if I haven't made that clear. And uh, we do Kale, or we do Dragon Necropolis, or we do something. We we try to keep it keep it um, keep it enjoyable for everybody. And so uh, we also have a Discord that we're running at the time. Even if you don't want to talk to us in Discord, you can at least listen. That way you can uh, see what's going on and all that. I think we, we definitely need to try to figure something out specifically for a lot of the pulling situations we had. Uh, where we had one monk who was pulling, uh, pulling the... Gakreen and Simcac out and I was I had to switch over to my cleric to help some uh, help with a res in another zone for someone who was watching the stream that was um, that that we that we help a lot I mean they not help them specifically but they they um, watch uh, uh, watch us so in turn go and help them but during that time they didn't have someone that to, to help them so they were pulling everything else I think I, I don't really know if that was correct because I wasn't there, of course. But um, one of the things is we had three shadow knights the whole night, so there was no reason that someone else couldn't step up and do what I was doing. That said, I didn't I didn't say it either. I didn't say, "Hey, I'm going to be uh, going and doing a res, so if you could go ahead and pick up what I'm doing uh, by tagging out the mobs, that'd be fantastic." I didn't do that. I should have done that, but I didn't do that. Um, the other thing is, is that a lot of times the monks would be out there, like two or three monks would be out there, and one of the monks is doing a lot of the work, and no one's tagging out a mob from <laughs> what they're doing. 
and I don't know if uh, what if that was just that they were talking in tells or there was no communication going on or they weren't listening to the stream because I think the puller, the primary puller and also Ryu, which was in my group, they were in the stream uh, in the discord. So they were they were in the stream and also listening to us uh, in discord. So, I, yeah, I don't know what was happening, but we ended up with the, the night ending and a pretty interesting wipe. Uh, we were resting. No, I think I think it was a bad pull. I think it was a bad Gacreen pull, um, which ended up getting Gacreen plus the two uh, priests over there, which if you've never uh, done the priests, and Gakreen, they have to stay separated. Because Gakreen can complete heal. And both of the priests can complete heal. So it's just one big non-stop fight. It, it doesn't end until they are completely tapped out of mana. And being that they are uh, the level that they are, they have a ton of mana. <laughs> so it, it, takes, um, it takes a raid force greater than us to be able to take that kind of thing down. Um, so we ended up wiping, I believe, and we were getting res back up. No one was pulling anything. Nothing was happening. And then for some reason, out of nowhere, a priest runs out of, uh, out of the, the door from where Gakreen and Simkak are and trains all the mobs back to us. So we ended up losing both of our clerics. And ended up having to drag everyone to the zone line. So, and that's how our, our night ended. That all said, with all the deaths that I had for the night, somehow, being that we were not in the experience group, I started at 4% experience, and I ended with 5% experience. So I don't, I don't know what kind of voodoo magic that was, but somehow I ended up with, with more experience than, than I had lost. I uh, I really enjoyed doing this, and I I hope to continue uh, doing these raids uh, as as my shadow knight if if it is possible. Uh, like I said uh, before, we work together, and if um, if we don't have the right classes, uh, I would switch up. I would change to the cleric. Uh, AC gamer would change to his warrior, um, and and we would go that route. But luckily, I was able to play the Shadow Knight. AC Gamer was able to do the loot. And uh, I think everything went well. People won a lot of items and um, and left with heartbreak, I guess, <laughs> at the end. But um, that's kind of expected. It's like one of the, it's like one of the uh, tropes, if you will, of, of our group. If you come out to our raids or come out to our groups you might as well expect to be dead at least at some point in during the night. It just happens. <laughs> That's, I, well, there should be a tagline or a, 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 mar, a, a marquee that says that. Welcome to the AC Gamer Group. You will die tonight. <laughs> but no, it, it really is enjoyable, really is fun. And it's really uh, nice to see the community come out together, not um, with all the guild tags and everything and just um enjoy enjoy the fun and the madness and the chaos of everything that's going on in the raid and um yeah i hope i i hope i said all the words and things that i wanted to say because uh, I'm, I'm going with a uh a no no second recording on this one i'm doing this straight off the cuff uh it's uh it's nine o'clock in the morning. We had the raid at, um, uh, I think around two to three in the afternoon till maybe two or, or o'clock in the, in the morning. And I still haven't been to sleep yet. So this is, this is me being tired and wanting to go ahead and just record because I have it all fresh in my memories. And, uh, if I offended anybody, <laughs> hopefully I didn't, I'm going to have to listen back to it and not edit it. <clears throat> <laughs> but if I did, I do apologize. I'm not calling anybody out for anything as far as that's concerned. Uh, if it was, if it, it happens the way it happens sometimes in raids and, and people die. 
Um, so, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. You, you're helping me so much, guys. And, um, and I'll talk to you next time. This is Cypher. Peace out.